Hey guys, got a new ambient pad drone for you, Dream Piano Ambient Pads. Um, I've been using pianos mixed with reverb a lot recently at Hillsong Church to create um, really nice organic atmospheric kind of uh, textures. So I wanted to create an ambient pad drone version of that um, so you can use that however you want to. Um, like all of my ambient pads, um, it comes with WAV files and M4A, so you can use them on any playback device you want. You can use them on an iPhone, iPad, Android, basically anything that supports WAV and M4A. There's a bonus MainStage template for those of you that do uh, use MainStage, but obviously you don't have to own MainStage to use these. Um, you can use them in playback, so you can just go on to Multitracks and download uh, the free playback app um, and use these um, inside the playback app. The great thing about this is if you purchase it from Multitracks, it shows up automatically in your playback account. Um, and you can use the free playback app to trigger these drones if you want. Um, and that's really great because you've got control over the mix between the two different um, piano drones as well. So as I was saying, there's two different types. There's um, Dream Piano 1 and Dream Piano 2. 2 is a little bit more atmospheric with a lot more motion in it. Um, but I'll get onto audio examples now and show you exactly what they sound like. So for this, I'm going to show you um, the main stage version. Um, but like I said, you don't have to own MainStage to use these. It just makes it easy for me to show you kind of what they sound like. So first of all, I'm just going to trigger um, just the A ambience here and go between the two. So this pad mix knob just mixes between the two pads so you can get a good idea of what the two different drones sound like. So now I'm just going to um, turn up the shimmer and show you some of these features inside the template and show you what you could do uh, with these drones live. So there you go, that's just one way that you can use them live um, as kind of an ambient drone over a whole song. You can obviously use them in playback or Ableton um, for transitions uh, to get rid of that kind of awkward silence between tracks. Um, there's a whole bunch of ways that you can use them, but yeah, um, I hope that's helped and given you some inspiration on how to use these.